little spot, you can see the, hopefully you can see that curvature of the bioswale that we did here. This is a larger bioswale, but probably, you know, it's about 24 inches wide. But you can see, hopefully, that it, you know, starts at the level of the sidewalk and comes down in this gentle depression and then comes up to the other edge, which is along the building. And what that does is it allows for capture of water and storage and holding of water in the soil. And then the mulch, which we put down at about six inches, um, it, it settled to about four. Um, we want a minimum of four inches. And the reason for that thickness is that it's really gonna allow the soil to hold the water that we put on it or that the um, rain adds. And that's really going to help these plants. And you can already see we've got some mushroom species coming up because what we also did was we added the mycorrhizae containing starter fertilizer. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but I think it's one of the most important things you can do. This is a little cloche that my boyfriend made because this little mint was put in a spot with a little more sun than it could handle. So we weren't sure what the, um, the sun coverage of the spot was when we did this. The other mint's doing really well though. So it could have also just been like that. We, you know, because we got these at Home Depot, they weren't really the healthiest of plants. Um, but anyway, so when you do the mycorrhizae at the little, just in the, what I say to my clients is just put it in the base of the planting hole um, before you put the plant in. And you just loosen the plant roots, put it in, cover it with native soil. You don't need to add any kind of compost or any other amendment. And then you just mulch thickly over the top and water it well. 